it. Hey, Hi, this is Rue, and I'm at NAM, and I have to thank you, Tom. Oh yeah. Tom, what do you think? You. Me. My, 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 special... my golden ticket. Look at that. I like the custom artwork there. How to do that? So, so tell me who you are. Uh, my name's Tom Gordon, and uh, I work for Mono, and I manage the uh, marketing, marketing direction, and artist relations for us. And uh, we are a small, passionate crew designing uh, professional luggage and cases and gear for creatives so how long have you been with mono what's that uh it's been a few years now do you know the song by courtney love mono oh <laughs> i don't it's a great song i probably know you know what i've in my neighborhood i've lived there for 13 years i don't know the street sign names but i know the streets so it's like i'm sure if i heard the song i'd know it i just didn't know the title yeah, well, maybe not. It's not one of her most popular songs, but she does have a song called Mono. Mono. I know the word is in it, you know? So where are you from? Uh, pretty much originally from the Washington, D.C. area. And then ended up out in the West since about uh, 93. So you're a Beltway boy? Uh, for the most part, yep. I went to Maryland, so I kind of know that area a little bit. Space, the Bayou. I worked at White Flint. Yeah, I, a 930 club. Yeah. yeah. Right. The Bayou was on that other street, and um, yeah, um, that what was the other one? The um, when you would go to Cellar Door. Oh yeah, Cellar Door Productions. Yep. Yeah. So, um, being here, yes. Have you been here before? Yes, I've been to Nam Show a couple times. And you find it really helps you out? Yeah, it's a great. I mean, number one, it's just to connect, just like we're doing right now. Right. You know, it's it's an opportunity to just catch up with all the people who are part of the industry spread the word, support each other, have a great time, get inspired for the year ahead. Are you a musician? Uh, I am. What do you do? Uh, I'm, I'm a hacky riff rock player. Do you play in any bands? Uh, yes. What's your band? Uh, I can't say the name of the band on this video. Why not? <laughs> uh, I have a band called Crooked. Okay. That's one of them. And uh, it's just, it's fun stuff. It's uh, one part hardcore, one part go-go, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So I host Ruin Who. It's a show based out of New York. Yeah, yeah. We like to get a skeleton from your closet. Oh. Would you Would you share one? A uh, skeleton from my closet. Uh, I used to have dreadlocks down in my butt. Wow. What happened? Do you have them still? Or did you save them? No, they're not on my head currently. Oh. I had one dreadlock and I still have it. Yeah, I, I went on a a winter surf trip to Baja one time in February. It was so cold and nasty and rainy the whole surf trip. Then I got back. I was like, I can't have this stuff on my head anymore. I shaved my head. Good for you, though. That's cool. So do you have a website that you want to be on here? Uh, monocreators.com. That's where you find it. Learn all about what we're doing. Learn about the Creators Network and the artists we support, like Doug Wimbus, Daru Jones, and countless others. And that's what's happening. Well, I have to say thank you so much, Tom, for that. Have a happy Nam. I'm going to have a happy Nam. You too. Yeah. Thank you. All right.